Greetings and welcome candidates to the lesson. The topic is uh, public speaking and presentation. We continue with the subject communication skills and the lesson is presentation aids. Presentation aids. Uh, in our today's lesson, we will define presentation aids, then we will uh, outline the functions of uh, presentation aids. So candidates, what are presentation aids? Just from the name aid to aid. Now, when making speeches, the speaker may have aids to help him or her uh, enhance the message that is conveyed to the audience. So presentation aids are the resources beyond the speech itself that a speaker uses to enhance the message conveyed to the audience. And the type of presentation aids that speakers mostly use are visual aids, like uh, pictures, uh, diagrams, charts, graphs, uh, maps may also be used, and so on. So, the audible aids, what I've um, explained are visual aids. We may also have audible aids, which may include uh, musical excerpts, they may include um, audio speech excerpts, uh, they may also include sound effects. So I've said presentation aids are resources beyond speech. Presentation aids are resources beyond speech, which a speaker uses to enhance message conveyed to the audience. Like just the way I'm doing, I'm, I'm speaking to you uh, using words. Now, there are certain resources that I may choose to use beyond the words to convey the message I'm conveying. And these resources I've said um, could be visual aids, or this could be visual aids. Visual aids. I've mentioned um, pictures graphs, diagrams, maps, uh, charts, and so on. Most of you have seen user, uh, speakers um, with visual aids like charts, maps. If I'm teaching geography, I may come up with a map. If I'm teaching, um, say, uh, uh, mathematics, I may use charts, I may use graphs, and so on. Those are visual aids, the ones that the speaker may um, use eyes, visual, to see. Now, apart from visual aids, there are also audible aids. Audible aids. Audible aids. And audible aids include musical excerpts, include audio speech excerpts, may include um, sound effects, and so on. So those are two categories of um, pr uh, presentation aids. A speaker, sometimes candidates, may also use Fragrance samples. Let me write it down. Fragrance. Samples. Now, fragrance samples appeals to the sense of smell. Fragrance samples appeals to what? To the uh, uh, sense of smell. So a speaker may use aids like... Uh, 
food samples or um, things like what we call gustatory, which appeals to the um, uh, sense of taste and so on. So we've seen here, fragrant samples appeals to the taste, uh, sense of uh, 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 smell. The speaker may use audible aids, which appeals to the sense of hearing. Then there is uh, visual aids, which appeals to the sense of seeing. So when uh, presenting messages, we say that uh, it's important that uh, the speaker uses as many uh, aids or means or resources that appeals to most of the senses. A message that appeals to the uh, uh, sense of seeing, sense of hearing, and sense of smelling, together with sense of taste, that message is likely to be understood better. And candidates' presentation aids must be used at the time when you are presenting the specific ideas related to the aid. You need to, when making a speech, to present the aid when you are making a point that is related to that aid. For example, if you are speaking about coral reefs, and one of your supporting points is about the location of the world's major reefs, then it would make sense to display the map of the coral reefs while you are talking about them. Like what I'm doing now, you can see on your screen, I'm displaying a coral reef. You can look at your screen. As I'm talking, I'm uh, uh, mentioning coral reefs. So when I'm mentioning coral reefs, then the coral reefs should appear. The same thing should happen when you are doing a physical presentation. If you are presenting um, maybe message on uh, coral reefs, then at that point you need to show the coral reef. All right? And if you are presenting message about a certain product, the product could be books, say CPA books. If you are talking about CPA study text, then what should appear to the audience is the, the CPA study text. So I'll take an example of uh, a, a, a book here. I have a certified secretary's uh, a revision book. So if I'm discussing about uh, uh, learning materials for certified secretaries, then at that point I can use this book as a presentation aid to show an, an, an example of uh, one of the resources that uh, certified secretaries need in preparation for exams, right? So presentation aids, I'm saying, I'm repeating, must be used at the time when you are presenting the specific idea. At this moment, I'm talking about resources for certified secretaries. At that point, I need to show you the, uh, the, the material, the learning material for certified secretaries. It's very important. You don't um, show the visual aids when you are talking about a different idea. You bring confusion. So if you display it while you are explaining uh, what the books are about, then you are describing the kinds of uh, the, the resources that the students may need. But if you don't do that, then it's, it will be like a, a distraction. If I'm talking about certified secret materials, and I don't display the materials for certified secretaries. Maybe I, 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 I display the, mat the material about coral reefs. Then, then that aid may not be useful. In fact, it's likely to be a distraction. So that's why when we are presenting the aid, it has to 
uh, because it's, it's helping under season aid. It helps you to drive home a message. It is a, 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 it is a resource that a speaker uses to enhance message conveyed to the audience. It's very important. Now, what are the functions? I now want to discuss the functions of presentation aids. What are the functions of presentation aids? Functions. functions of presentation is the first function is to improve understanding of the listeners or audience improve understanding the first major function of a presentation is is to improve understanding of the audience that is the understanding of the information that is to be conveyed Number two, present, presentation aids enhance memory. Presentation aids enhance what we call um, audience memory and retention. When you present a message and that message appeals to the sense of seeing, the sense of hearing, the sense of taste, the sense of smell, then the audience memory is most likely to be enhanced and the retention of the message will also be high. So presentation aids enhance audience memory and retention of message and retention of message conveyed. Presentation aids also add interest and variety to the speech. Add interest and variety to a speech. When people are given an opportunity to, to listen, to see, Okay, other than just listening what you are saying, but you give them an opportunity to also view what you are saying or to smell what you are talking about, then that evokes interest in the audience. Four, presentation aids may also enhance credibility. May enhance credibility as a speaker. Very important. Enhance your credibility as a speaker. We can also say that uh, presentation aids um, make the message more lively. Okay? Makes a message more lively makes a message more lively because when you have a message and you are using diagrams you are using charts you are using graphs you are using maps you are using sound effects you are using uh, music you are using uh, 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 audio speech excerpts then that message will be lively as opposed to just talking the message will be more lively. So these are the functions of uh, presentation aids. Now, candidates, another important aspect of uh, presentation aids that we need to uh, discuss in our today's lesson is what we call characteristics of good presentation aid. Characteristics of characteristics of a good presentation aid. What are the attributes? What are the features of a good presentation aid? Now, candidates, in order to make the audience have a good image of what you are talking about, then the, the, the presentation 
aid chosen should at least have certain features. Should at least have certain properties or characteristics. The first one is that the presentation aid must be easily experienced by the audience. The presentation aid must be easily experienced by the audience, must be easily experienced by the audience. The second characteristic is that a good presentation aid must be portable, must be easily handled and efficient. Portable, easily handled and efficient. Easy to handle. When you are talking, you should be able to handle it easily. It should not be one that maybe you cannot even raise up or you cannot display it. It has to be portable. It has to be efficient. It has to be to meet the desired intention. And when presenting using uh, the aid, that aid should disappear immediately. You stop talking about the, uh, the message behind the, the aid. So that will avoid the destruction we talked about here. All right? So when talking about a book, and I've completed the message on the book, then if this book is my presentation aid, then the book should easily disappear so that I continue talking about something else. So it has to be portable and easy to handle. The third one is that uh, a good presentation aid should be aesthetically. It should be uh, aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing. A good presentation aid should be aesthetically pleasing, which includes a good taste. And today, candidates, electronic media allows us to operate very busy slides with a variety of uh, fonts, variety of colors, um, variety of photos, collages of photos, and so on. So such features are aesthetically pleasing. All right? So it should be an aid that allows you to uh, incorporate color, incorporate different fonts, uh, pleasing fonts, um, and uh, uh, keeping in mind also the principles of, uh, uh, principles of uh, font uh, or focal point, principles of unity, and so on. And another feature related to aesthetic is uh, color color, because here we said that uh, uh, presentation aids could be visual aids. So when you are presenting a visual aid, then you need to consider the aspect of color, because color is an aesthetic aspect. Because there are some colors that are more soothing, there are some colors that are more readable, uh, some colors could be appropriate than others. Also, candidates, the color on the slides may be different when projected from what is on the computer. So it's important to check the aspect of color. All right, color. Five, a good presentation aid is one where the speaker acknowledges or gives credit or provides credit when using images that are not his own. When you are using an image that is not your image, then it's important to acknowledge the source. Acknowledge 
or give credit. If I'm using an image, for example, this book is a manifesto publisher's book. So if I'm using it uh, to uh, maybe explain a point on books, then I need to acknowledge that this is not my book, but the book for or published by manifested publisher. So I need to give credit. So a good presentation aid is one where um, when you not use it, when you're using someone else resource, then uh, it's, it's important that you give credit um, if you are using a, an, an aid that is not your own. Then another point is that uh, a good presentation aid, a good presentation aid, we can say, must support the message. Is one that supports the message. A good presentation aid is the one that does what? The one that supports the message or the speech. And is the one that has relevant, relevance to the content at hand. So these are six uh, characteristics of a good presentation aid. These are not the only characteristics. There are more. Uh, you can read from our textbooks on uh, uh, more information. You can get more information on presentation aids from our textbooks. But for now, we will stop at that. I will come to the end of today's lesson. What was the lesson about? The lesson was about presentation aids. We've defined presentation aids as resources beyond speech, which a speaker uses to enhance message conveyed to the audience. We've also gone further to state that presentation aids could be visual aids, could be audible aids, could also be fragrance aids that appeals to the sense of smell. We may also have um, Visual aids that appeals to the sense of um, uh, uh, sense of uh, other than sense of smell, we can also have sense of taste. Then we've gone further to highlight the functions of uh, presentation aids. We've said that uh, presentation aids improve understanding. Presentation aids also enhance memory and retention of message. Number three, presentation aids add interest and variety to speech. Number four, presentation aids enhance credibility of the speaker. Then number five, presentation aids makes a message more lively. In closing, candidates, we highlighted the characteristics of a, a, a good presentation aid. We say that a good presentation aid is one that is easily experienced. Number two is uh, portable, easily handled, and efficient. Number three, we say that a good presentation aid is aesthetically pleasing. Then number four, there is the aspect of color when uh, 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 preparing or coming up with the presentation. It is important to, in, to incorporate the aspect of color because color is an aesthetic aspect. We've said some colors are, are more soothing some colors are more readable than others, so it's important to check the color aspect. Number five, we've said a good presentation aid is one where the speaker gives credit, where credit is due, right? We've said that you should provide credit when using images that are not your own. Then lastly, we've said that a good message supports, a good uh, uh, aid supports the message and is one that have relevance to the content. So we, we close the lesson. And uh, before that, I'm going to give you an assignment. Question one, highlight five functions of uh, presentation aid. Number two, discuss five characteristics of a good presentation aid. Thank you for attending. I hope to meet you in our next session where we continue 
to study more about public speaking and presentation. Bye-bye. Thank you.